Hello and welcome back to Swift Owl 7 Gaming. I am Swift Owl 7. I think that this is episode 6. I might be wrong, but we're back in Prison Architect 1. Let's play with all the DLCs. And in our last episode, um, let's see. We did some planning, a lot of planning. Uh, we're going to do some expansion in this episode. We definitely got the resources for it. So let's go ahead and... Uh, what's going on over here? Close, oh, I've got one little spot here that is not um, taken care of. Let's just real fast take care of that. Boop. Okay, there is that. So we are looking at putting in an armory right now. And we want to get this grant right here. So we'll get $15,000 if we do this. I think that makes sense. So um, to do this, we need to do a couple little things. Let's dismantle this table. Dismantle this window here. We are renovating, um, really, this... Um, trying to select that table underneath. There's a way to do it. Um, tab, I think, yeah. We're going to reconfigure the morgue, and we did we did lose a prisoner. I think it was in our last episode, unfortunately. Um, so uh, that's that's kind of sad. He died of a overdose, and there was really nothing we could do about it. You know, we tried. Um, we sent a doctor to his cell. Unfortunately, a guard took him out of that cell, and uh, that resulted in his untimely demise. So you know, what can you do? When something like that happens, there's not a whole lot. Um, put a window right here. Um, that way the doctor can see if anything's going wrong inside the office. That doesn't really happen, I know. But, you know, I like to think that it could be a reality. Um, I'm really looking for a lamp post because I'd like to put a lamp in there. There we go. Whoop. Um, so we got things happening. We got our protective uh, custody wing going to go in up there. We got our laundry going to go down in down here. A gym of some sorts. So it looks like this went pretty smoothly. We're going to go ahead and... that okay this is going to go in we're going to take out this window here and this window right here we are going to demolish some walls these two right here and then we're going to go in and do some doors curious what this more is. Okay. I got you. Doors. Let's click on solitary. Boy, there's so many doors. Okay, there we go. Which is good. I like the variety. Don't get me wrong. We're going to put one right here. And really, we want to put one right here too. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let that filter through. Oh no. What happened? Um, let's get guards. G guards, I want you in here. I, I think it's already too late to find out what happened. Oh man, no. Oh, he was murdered by a prisoner with a baton. going on? Who's kicking off here? Oh, well, did this guy do the murdering? So, we now definitely need, like, a Supermax area. Without a doubt, Supermax is necessary now. Okay. Not sure how that's going to work out right now. <laughs> but we're going to try to get this working out um, at some point in time here. 
I'm going to let you just watch the game real fast. I'm going to run to my fridge and grab a drink. Okay, I got my Gatorade. Thick for ready to rock and roll. I don't like to edit these videos. It just takes way too much time. I got the resources to do it, and I do produce some videos for my work. Um, so it's not like I can't do it, but I just uh, just don't have that kind of time in my life. Um, so here's what we're going to do. This guy, um, he is, for the time being, we want to research permanent punishment. We need legal for that. Oh, I don't have the money to do that right now. <sighs> Sorry for being ill-prepared during this episode. Getting my drinks and everything ready here. So we need a maximum security wing too, or super max. We're gonna put a maximum security wing down here, but we're gonna need a super max area. Let's go ahead and uh, speed this up a little bit. This will be done in just a second here. Should be done. Let's grab some walls and uh, go ahead and do uh, we'll do a tile wall there because of the morgue. And we're going to move this bin right to here. Let's go ahead and do a brick wall. Uh, there eventually. Let's do brick wall. We're going to do a tile wall here. As we're doing these renovations, we're going to re renovate this with tile. This window is coming out. I do know we have some windows, so we can go ahead and put them right along here. And we got one more we can place down without costing us any money. Let's just do that right here. Let's go to rooms. And that's finally done. Let's finish that wall up here. Objects, rooms. Um, what I'm going to do is... Grab that solitary door before we forget to put it in right here. Rooms, and we need an armory. So let's look for the rifle. And is that locked? I thought we had, uh, did we accidentally research remote access and not armory? Did, did anyone catch that in the last episode? Uh, cause I haven't uploaded that last episode, so I don't see comments yet. Um, well, silly me. Okay, so while that's happening, let's go ahead and work in our morgue. We've got an emergency going on. Um, let's get this guy to the infirmary right now. Um, looks like this patrolling guard is going to come down and take care of him. And good, he's, he's going to be saved. So let's go ahead and while we're waiting, we are going to be working in the morgue. So we're flipping these tables around is what we decided and for kicks and giggles we're putting a small table right here we're also going to have to redo our lighting so we'll put that in like that okay so that's going to be great um rooms we can go ahead and dezone that okay 
Now, we had to put this guy in 24-hour uh, lockdown, and it looks like, uh, or was it this guy? It looks like they're no longer addicted to alcohol. No one has that. Oh, he might be. Um, you know, for kicks and giggles, let's search his cell. Make sure he doesn't have any booze in there. And these are padded cells. You know, I kind of wish we could do like a padded floor, and we can. It just makes sense that we should be able to do this. And it probably should be done. Okay. I actually worked in a psych ward for a little over a year. Nothing was padded. There's no such thing as... Uh, there might be in some, but uh, in ours, it was just a... Uh, we had a, a bed. You didn't get sheets or anything. It was just pretty much like a mattress um, on a block of wood that was bolted to the floor. And that was it. I mean, <laughs> there was nothing else in that room. Um, okay. So what we're going to do... I really want to get this wing built. We got money issues. Let's grab a grant. Or grab a loan, rather. Again, uh, here's this. We haven't figured this problem out yet. Um, why Why is that? Why, is, why are these visitors... I'm getting ready to cancel visitation if they keep doing this. Um, boy, that guy's smelly. <laughs> um... like our water is just not reaching up there for hot water. I don't know if this will help or do just not matter whatsoever. We're just going to try that. See what happens. Um, I'm looking towards this wing over here. Let's go ahead and grab our foundation and start the work of building this here. There's that. Okay, we found another little page. I'll give you a moment to look at this. Pause it on your screen if you want to read it. This is a direct control mechanism. I actually talked about this in episode one. Mm-hmm. Cool, cool, cool. Um, this idea was presented by me to the development team. Um, I don't know if they had this idea before me, but um, I posted that to one of their, uh, you know, suggestion boards, and it seemed to take off, and uh, I was pretty happy about that. Let's grab some pest control people. Take care of things. I guess now we got two pest control people. Okay, that's fine. Um, how are we doing on our research? We got some time to kill. So, let's see. Um, we're going to speed things up here momentarily. But let's go ahead and do some work in our infirmary. So we're just going to add some flooring there. Um, You know, for right now, this is not going to be anything. We'll grab a staff door, put it down right here. Is this guy going to run over and escort? Yeah, that guy's good. Okay. We can also shift our attention back down here, um, maybe to this common area. So we'll probably do like a door, a double door in, double door in, double door in. Okay. 
We got something going on somewhere. Okay. Is that guy a gang member? It looks like he probably is. Oh boy. We're probably going to need some more power at some point in time for this new wing that we're building. So let's throw down a capacitor. Um, this yard could use some work. Most definitely. Put some bleachers in. Put some tires in. Grab some dumbbells. Oh, we're going to be receiving some extra supplies, it looks like. Um, I guess. That's okay. Um, let's grab our weight benches. And let's just put them like this. And how about tires? Uh, okay, this isn't good. We didn't have a doctor in our infirmary or something? I mean, that's not good. That guy could have been saved. He should have been saved. Where's our doctors at? Maybe we need to hire more? We'll hire one more doctor. Hopefully that'll help things out a little bit. Yes, yeah, kind of not good. My microphone is working, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I get paranoid sometimes about that. So let's go ahead and speed things up. We're going to go into hyperspeed. Um, we're going to grab a rat trap and set it in here. How are we looking in our bureaucracy? Two more rounds of the hand. And we are going to need some more money. I hate to keep taking out all these loans. That really does not help us at all. It just postpones the, the inevitable failure of our prison. Um, unless we start selling things off. And even that is difficult to do uh, at the moment. Let's grab some uh, room options. Let's zone this to be an armory. We should be able to. In two minutes. There we go. Um, rooms, armory. And we're going to go bare bones right now just because we really don't have the resources to do anything else. Um, that's not what I'm looking for. But sure, why not? Put that there. <laughs> um, Okay, let's grab our guard locker. I'm thinking of having these, like, uh, in this little hallway. We need at least two to start with. We're going to need a table. So maybe, like, right there. We're going to need a weapons rack. And I don't think you can rotate these. Oh, you can now. They changed that. It used to be you couldn't rotate these. They've also made them where they're not wood, which is kind of nice. So, we'll start there. That's going to be our armory. It's going to be bare bone, basic armory and living. Um, we're going to go ahead and prioritize this armory. Uh, that way we can get this $15,000 grant. I don't know why we did the uh, search and nothing turned up there. Um, so now we're kind of working up here on this wing. we got some problems here. There are no canteens accessible because this is opened up. I get that. I really do. Um, what we're going to do is just grab some staff doors. I'm not too concerned about anything crazy. Um, I'm not concerned about jail doors in this area. Um, What we're going to do is go ahead and secure this area here. 
Now, all these prisoners right now are kind of confined into there. And that's A-OK. -okay. We had to surprise everyone with a roll call? Let's do it. Who's light coming out into the hallway? Where's this guy at? Okay. I didn't see anyone late, so... Now... Well, I don't... Oh, we got... Okay. Got ya. We can fix that. This is why we've added these doors. But we do have problems. With this cell block here. Okay, that fixes these cells. Um, we're getting things fixed here, slowly but surely. So our armory, we're just going to speed things up here for a moment. And uh, watch that get completed. We have an escape going on. Let's bang this all up. Oh, uh, should I do it? I'm going to do this. I really shouldn't. This is cheating. But we're going to do this. Stop him! Guards! Prison Architect 2, you won't be able to do that. <laughs> we had to do that just one time. For our own stupid mistakes. Because I thought everyone was going to stay in their, in their cells. Uh, at least no one escaped. No one escaped. We're all okay. We can let our criminally insane people, you know, do what they need to do. Uh, I think they're okay for right now. Um... Just waiting for this foundation to be completed. There's just one thing that needs to be done. So let's see if we can bump that up. You guys are not allowed to come this way. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, we'll open these doors back up. We can cancel the bang up. Stop all. Open these doors back up. Okay. Let's look at this common room and do we want doors on it? We definitely need doors over here so that this stays a cell block. Um, same over here. So we might as well have doors here too. Windows. We're going to have something like that. Rooms, common area. So this will be a potential area for gangs to tank o take over. That will be kind of cool to see um, if they actually decide to do that. I think we can have... Okay, okay. I think we should have a chess table over here. Um... 
a couple of chairs right here. I think we should have a sofa here. Something like this. So that we can have a television. Uh, that'd be fine. Put some phone booths right along this wall. Pool table. Throw some lights over this. It's kind of loud when I zoom in. Uh, sorry about that. Hopefully the audio is okay. I haven't seen anything in the comments, so hoping audio is okay. That construction audio. We got all kinds of problems happening. We need to stop here and just slow down and see what's going on. We might have to do a bang up here. And what I think I'm going to do is just turn down the game volume right to there. Because things are getting loud on my end, and I can only imagine that they're loud on your end. So please comment below if the sound needs adjusted uh, anymore. Anything else you want to add to this room here? Um... I think we're pretty good. I think that's a decent start for a common room. Um, maybe a bookshelf. Like right there. Uh, maybe a fan. Okay, I think that'll be okay. So we're starting to have problems in this prison. Hopefully we can... Uh, Work out all the fine details. We got this wing well underway. Let's grab two guards. Let's plop them down right here. And we need to assign them to a patrol. So we're going to go into deployment, patrols. Um, I think we need one right here for sure. And then our other armed guard. One's going to be stationed in here. One's going to be on the blue route, I think. Or should I put them on this pink route? I think I'll put them on a pink route. And there we go. Um, we should have two handlers assigned. I definitely... Uh, one... I guess maybe one didn't get assigned. Okay. Do we not have two hired? Yeah, we do. What is he? He's on break. Hey, buddy! You've been assigned. Go get on your patrol. Down here, please. Uh, deployment, patrols. I do want to get rid of that for right now. Dog handlers. One. Two. So he's here. Go get over here on this patrol, please. Patrol. Patrol. I'm, I need you to patrol. I want you to patrol. I want patrolling to take place. Negative. <laughs> We'll get there eventually. We got everyone hired. They just all need to be off a of break at the same time, apparently. So we got this wing built. A little texture glitch there, it looks like. Let's go ahead and um, work on this here. Again, we've got some yellow walls just showing that you are entering a uh, 
protected area in the prison. Okay, he's being saved. We do got a doctor here in the infirmary. So hopefully he will be okay. Um, we're going to do yellow wall right along here. We're going to do this hallway. But inside these cells, we're going to do a tile wall right here. Actually, all this is going to be tile. Um, same with this here. Okay. Except for this. This one will be yellow. Keep this yellow. Okay, we'll let that uh, get built, and we'll come back later on. Money is problematic right now. Um, Go ahead and start construction down here. And what I'm going to do is have doors put in right here to hopefully keep prisoners from running out like last time because we're not going to be buying a whole bunch of guards every time that that happens. Matter of fact, why don't I try to maybe promise that we won't do that again? We will try not to cheat and just put guards around a prisoner that's escaping. Um, we'll try not to do that. <laughs> we might be tempted to. See if we can avoid doing that. You know, so Prison Architect 2 is coming out. I still very much highly recommend Prison Architect 1 and its DLCs. If you're getting the DLCs, you know, definitely try to wait for a sale. But this is such a fabulous game. It is potentially one of my favorite all-time games. Boy, what did you do? Now we got this guy here. Um, this isn't the first guy that you've murdered. I don't like that, how that's happening. Um, I don't remember what I was saying now. I was uh, making a comment about something. Oh yeah, I, I highly recommend this game. This is one of my top, um, probably in my top three all-time favorite games. I would say if I had to pick one game to play for the rest of my life, it'd be between Prison Architect 1 and RimWorld. Those would be my um, two games. We got an overdose over here somewhere. Is it you? Okay, we've got a doctor. We've got some, somebody take this guy, please. We got doctors over here? Yes, we do.
Uh, let's dump this. Prior prioritize this garbage. This garbage needs prioritized. I can't seem to click it. But we definitely need to get that prioritized. <laughs> we can't have... Um, we cannot have uh, those garbage bags right there. That, that could just result in problems. Thank you. Somebody else grab this other bag, please. Thank you. Oh. Anyone. I, there we go. Okay. So we're working down there. We're working up here. Let's start with our electrical and uh, run it up this direction. I think that should be enough. Let's look at electrical lights. As opposed to gas lights. <laughs> um, just install these in this corridor. Let's grab doors. Throw these all in. Throw that door there, and what we're going to do is throw a wooden door there and a wooden door there. I'm going to grab a solitary door and throw this direction right here. One of my jobs in real life was literally to, um, as I said, I worked in a psych ward. I literally had a three by five hallway, and I would sit there, and I had three cells just like this here. It wasn't laid out quite like this, but it was, um, I had three cells, and I would sit there, and I actually worked a 24-hour shift once in that hallway, which I later found out is illegal for them to make you work a 24-hour shift in Pennsylvania, but I sat there for 24 hours. I had a 12-hour shift. I was scheduled for. They came in. They asked me, hey, uh, can you work another 12? And I said, well, today is a holiday. I will work another 12 and make this a 24-hour shift if you continue my holiday into the next shift. Absolutely, we'll do that. Well, guess what? My pay came, and there was no holiday pay there. They said, well, that person really didn't have the authorization to... Uh, to, to, um, give you holiday pay, and that made me so upset. I didn't quit uh, right then and there, but that made me so upset. Uh, that was the beginning of the end, I think. Um, you know, I was pretty young. You know, still, still uh, trying to fresh out of college. I'm just trying to make a living, pay off college debt. Um, trying to start my career because this is my second job that would support my main career um, and I was just so depressed uh, after that man that just took the wind out of my sails I didn't think that was fair matter of fact I got attacked by a patient um, my right shoulder has permanent nerve damage and the psych uh, ward that I worked at, they refused to give me a workman's comp number because I was on probation. My probation was just that standard, you're hired, you're brand new, 90-day uh, probation. 
And apparently they thought that they didn't need to do that because I was on probation. And if I did anything, you know, that countered them and caused any trouble, I would uh, be fired for, for uh, failing a probationary period. Now, I didn't do anything wrong. I was commended for uh, helping out in this prisoner um, just like these guards here, uh, I was, I, you know, I did a good job. I did exactly what I was supposed to do, but, um, boy, that, that, I, I all these years later, over a decade later, and my shoulder is, it hurts nonstop. It is like my right shoulder, constant pain. It's like somebody is, is, uh, you, you know, that Vulcan neck pinch on Star Trek, feels like somebody's doing that to my shoulder like you know somebody would come up to you and just do that as a prank obviously not passing you out or anything but it feels like that constantly and once in a great while I'm just getting that uh, position in my bed where it doesn't hurt nearly as bad but I've just gotten used to it I've just come to the conclusion that I'm gonna live like that for the rest of my life and uh, when you come to that conclusion I'll tell you what it's it's not as bad anymore I mean, it still is bad, but... Anyway. There's a couple little stories for you in this episode that you did not pay for, so I'll give that to you free of charge. Um, let's throw some beds down in here. Now, I'm going to uh, switch this up a little bit with beds. Because not everyone who is in here is in here because they're a bad person. So there's going to be some good people in here. There's going to be some bad people in here. And uh, so we're just having different quality of cells. Are we okay? Everything's good? Something happened in here. I have to wait for these walls to be built for some of these things. You're a really good prisoner if you're in, in these rooms here. I mean... And in, 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 really, in any of these rooms down here, you're a really good prisoner. We had solitary rooms about this big. Um, and they had just a foam mattress on the floor. In our kids' unit, that was it. A room about that big, foam mattress on the floor. The kid messes up, you just... Throw them onto that mattress. Unfortunately, um, in Pennsylvania, the law is you're not allowed to close that solitary door, which is very stupid because that is kind of how I got hurt. If we could have locked that darn door, I would not have gotten hurt. But the kid charged back out and uh, took out all the staff members. We had three staff members. One was pregnant, and she just locked herself into um, the nurse's station. Um, the other staff member got knocked out, a uh, lady, and then it was me. I was the last man standing, and we hit the security button for a security to come. It takes a full minute for that to ring down in the security office, and then they have to come up to the fourth floor. And um, it also rings throughout the rest of the hospital, and you have other staff members coming to help. The problem is there's only three people with keys other than security. One's knocked out. One's locked in the nurse's station. And I'm the only one else with a key, and the door is probably, I'd say, a good hundred feet down the hallway. And there was no way I was getting to that door to let anyone in. Um, I mean, I'm just tr struggling for my life, quite literally. Um, it was bad. It was just crazy, crazy, crazy. 
Let's make this nice here. Um, this is going to be a common area. We're going to have like a little TV viewing right here. Do like a little bookshelf. I'm looking for the television, but I don't see it here. Here it is. That's not a television. Oops. There we go. And that's good enough for a common area. We're going to need a canteen, which will probably be this one here. I have no clue what this means. Ugh. Drives me crazy. Okay. Um, money, uh, we better take another loan before we get in trouble with the bank. Eventually, they're going to stop us from doing that. Um, so we got this situated. We'll wait for that to happen. Let's go ahead and open this up here. I hear a guard responding to something. This It's this guy right here. We, we need to do something with him. Um, we need to get rid of him. I mean, you know, for right now, my solution, hey, get rid of him for 24 hours. Or else are we having problems at? We need to get a patrol going down this hallway here. So let's go ahead. I don't remember these being as hard to press as I'm struggling to press the buttons. Um... We don't have lights here, I guess. Oh, it looks like there are lights. There are wall lights. Let's delete those. I don't know if there's lights in this hallway or not. We'll find out in a moment. Let's go and assign a patrol. We haven't had any serious incidents. I mean, we have had people, prisoners die. No, no guards or staff members, which is good. Again, just remember, we're not done yet with this episode, but just remember, leave a like and subscribe if you're enjoying the commentary um, this episode. I hope it's a lot better than the other episodes. I'm trying. I am trying. I'm not perfect by any means, but... Um, Hopefully you're enjoying it. If you're not, well, thank you for watching anyway. I appreciate it. So a prisoner breaks out. He pops up right here in a tunnel. He runs on this gravel. It's slow. Guards can run faster on the cement to him and get to him before he jumps over the fence. That's the idea. Um... Okay, how's our happy little self doing? That's us. Look at us. I don't know what we're doing. We're just walking around right now. We got some dirt on our carpet. I'd like that cleaned. Is that dirt? Well, I don't know what that is. Just a little particle of something. Snow? <laughs> it is snowing, it looks like. So our workers are happily working away here. We got some problems down here. Um, this guard is responding to him. Okay. We do just have the... We do have two Supermax prisoners. It's unfortunate. Shelly. Shelly. Hmm, that's an interesting name. Okay. Shelly. He's in for murder. <laughs> he got two double counts of murder. He lied in his court case. Plea was not guilty for lying. Uh, car theft. He said, I didn't, tell, I didn't steal that car person was dead. How did I steal the car from them? Well, um, you know, he has a, this guy had everything going for him. He had a 21-year-old wife. 
My golly, I wish I had a wife. I got a daughter. Mother, father. Stint. So this is your first time in jail, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming, is what that means. So are these the murders that you've committed in my prison? I'm just kind of curious. Experience. It doesn't say. I don't think so, but it, it's possible. It is possible. Um, so we're getting these things, we're getting these places worked on here. Um, let's go to deployment. Let's just make sure this is a staff only area. That would be great. Security, you know, this is all staff. <laughs> let's make the armory staff only, the morgue. Um, actually, I don't know if that will make that staff only. This is staff only here. Um, good thing we're looking at this because some things did definitely need updated. Unsecure. Oh, that area right there. That's fine. That's staff only. And no visitors. You cannot come out this door. No, I'm not even going to. We're not even entertaining this. Not entertaining you guys. Mm -mm. I don't like you guys. No visitors. We need to finish up our visitor room here uh, at some point in time. I am aware of that. What we're going to do is zoom in a little bit more. Um, I'm looking for weight benches. Room. Yard. Oh, it has to be five by five? We'll, we'll just forget all that. Forget everything I just did. Deployment. We'll just keep this staff only then. This is going to be staff only, and so will that once I get doors put in to those areas. Just in case we ever need to do something out there. You know, we have a uh, problem with drugs in our prison. We are going to go ahead and try to fix that. And as we're doing this... Let's do that. I don't know what grant we just finished up here. Like the one we just did, uh, which is just great. That's fine. Can we decrease this a little bit? Can we sell any parts of our prison yet? No. Oh boy, that's the rough part. Can't, can't. Um, we're really struggling to function financially as a prison. We need to start taking in people other than minimum security. We have to get um, a group of normal security prisoners and hopefully maximum security here in the near future. Let's bump this up. You know, we have to make some drastic actions. Policy, I, I don't like to do this. We, we have to go to, we have to just cut that down. We have to cut that down. Um, staff wages, that might have to be decreased at some point in time. Uh, you know, um, we're losing a ton of money. That loan interest is eating us up. We're, we're in a lot of trouble. If I do a government bailout...
I think we're going to go for maximum security infrastructure. That gives us some money. I mean, that money is going to disappear quite quickly. It, in, in, in a day, that money is going to disappear. So we need to do something drastically. Tax relief. I, I, I need tax relief. I need the offshore haven. Um, body armor. Let's start researching things for this grant. Uh, what else do we need to do? Uh, CCTV. We've already unlocked that. Um... Um, the cell block C is something we might consider doing. Let's go ahead and grab that. That's an extra ten thousand um, dollars. You know, CCTV is something we really need anyway in this prison. So let's go ahead and go to the. I think that's a utility thing. At some point in time, it used to be. Um, I guess it's not now. Thought we unlocked that. Oh, we'll unlock remote access. Okay, we'll get that going too. So we're working out down here. Um, we'll grab, we'll zone all this when it's done. Um, is there any other way to save money? You know, I think what we need to do is intake. This is going to be a little rough. This could cause us some problems. Um, I'm going to take 15 uh, normal prisoners in in the morning. And, and that's going to give us $15,000. Right? No, so that's going to give us $7,500. But still, that'll help out. Uh, offsetting things will make it through another day. Um, where are we going to house these prisoners? Right here. That's where they're going to get housed. Um, everyone else, I trust the medium security prisoners more than I do. I, I mean, there looks like there's some cells that might even be empty. Uh, Shared, 37. Capacity, 13. You know, some things that I want to do is make this minimum. Make that minimum. This is staff only? What? Hang on. Not sure why that staff only. But it is. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's going to be ten cells. Let's make this uh, normal security. Shared is the bunkhouse. Minimum security over here. Common rooms shared. Criminally insane. Protective custody. Okay. I think we'll be okay. Shared capacity is 13. Medium capacity, 19. Medium right now is 3. It's going to increase here in a moment. Intelligence. Informants. Uh, do we have anyone to recruit? Hmm. these walls up.
And then we'll have this wing down here for additional prisoners. Um, why did I do this one normal? You know, I just uh, feel that you, you, it's easier to escape from. You're closer to the front of the prison. Um, I wanted to give these guys a little bit more privilege. They're right next to the common room. I mean, so is so so is so so this is minimum. Uh, so is this. This is right next to the common room too. But um, you know, they have to cross the hallway. <laughs> Um, I just feel like this is the more, you know, you're going to have m minimum down here for sure. So it just makes sense. We'll just move these guys down eventually. Um, these guards are wanting to do something. I'm not quite sure what they're wanting to do there. Okay. So we still have not found all the narcotic narcotics. I promise I'm not on any. I'm drinking Gatorade. I can't speak. I got dry mouth, dry eyes. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not on narcotics. It's the dust out here. I tell you what. We had 56 mile per hour winds today. I think dust got in my house and every little nook and cranny. I was laying down taking a nap. And all I could feel was dust going into my nose and my mouth. I could taste it. It was just wonderful. It literally wasn't wonderful. Um, okay, let's get back on task here. I want to hire... Five more guards. Why do you guys have vests? I mean, I didn't issue them, but I guess you're coming with them. What is that? So I'm thinking that symbol might mean, yeah, reoffending. Uh, this is his second time here in prison. He's in for drunk and disorderly behavior, assaulting an officer, video game piracy. I love it. Uh, possessions, uh, fraud, he did his burglary already. Um, so I'm not too concerned about them, really. Just like his, he was pirating a uh, prison architect is what he was doing. Um... So we got prisoners here. This is coming along nicely. We can start getting water out this way. What is that? Holy cow. I don't know where it was at. That guy was bringing in... That guy was bringing in a uh, bloody club. We're getting some gangs in our prison, and if we go in and look at that, we got some uh, low-level people here. 
I don't necessarily see any high-level officers. Well, I guess they changed the symbols and how they look. This is, uh, I'm going to assume that he's the head of this gang, this, this guy here with the crown. Um, so this room, this area is coming out along nicely. We really need to start looking at um, informants. We need to start looking at uh, people who are, are uh, snitches. Holy cow. Ex-prison guard. I'm not worried about him getting killed, though. This guy. I want him to be a maximum security. I mean... I don't have any place to put him, but... We need to just watch him. He's in here for trafficking. We need to watch him. I feel like this uh, narcotic search is not going very well. Um, we might cancel that in the long run. Let's go ahead and cancel it now, I guess. We need to come up with some serious decisions on um, that guy. That guy... He's, he's trouble. He is going to be trouble. Okay, we need to throw some doors in. Right here. And then we can go ahead and do walls, fence, fence, fence. Wall. Why not? Um, door, gate. Um, I know we're getting we're getting down there. We're we're working on things. Trying to get our laundry. It's, things have not progressed as quickly as I anticipated them progressing in this episode. I, I'll be honest about that. How are we doing on food anyway? We have enough food to feed prisoners. We're doing good. I'm thinking um, super max security.
I, I was gonna say I heard something. Who killed him? I need guards. Can I get um, armed response, maybe? Oh man, so that's not cool. Can I recruit him as an informant? Uh, can I potential CI? Maybe. I don't know. I can't. I can't. This is not good. But I'm gonna end this is 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 his thing. But um. I think I just ended it. Um, we have to take care of him. I mean, we have to get rid of this guy. Like, I mean, we, we, need, to, we need to do something here. Um, A little super max area, just a temporary area. This might be torn down eventually and turned into something else. We'll add a little shower um, area right here. Somehow, I'm not sure how that's gonna look. Um, we'll throw a little yard or something out here. Now, I saw something and I don't know how it works. Maybe it doesn't do anything, I don't know. I, I thought there was... I'm not quite sure how this works. How is this different than a regular fence? Is this... I don't know how this works here. But... What do I know? Not much, apparently. Um, money, we need to do something with money. We need... We can get $20,000 for a CCTV monitor and cameras. Let's do that. Well, you guys are getting an extra, extra long episode, so this will be the last thing we do. Um, I just realized what time it was. Uh, CCTV, hello. Oh, do we not have that unlocked yet? Okay. <laughs> we need money. We need money. Um, anyone that wants to donate money to our prison, that would be a great, great thing. This is not working. We have tried to clean up tools. I don't think it's something that we can even do right now. Um... Raise cell block capacity. We got this built, guys. Um, so, visitors cannot come in this way. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Nope. Not a visitor entrance. Let's solve that problem right now. Visitors. Come down here. Go through here. Okay, when you leave, you're going to go down this way. It don't take out. You go down this way. This is staff only.
right? An area prioritized by visitors and civilians with only them and staff permitted in this area. Well, in this episode, we have built this wing up here. We don't have it functional yet, but we will have this functioning in our next episode, which will give us a bunch more beds, too, to get to our goal of $20,000, 100 capacity. Um, we'll be working on our max security wing. I think we're going to do some revisions to this. Um, I, I don't like how it's looking. I really want to have this available for expansion for our are are criminally insane um you know when i do max security i like to put them deep 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 into the prison and this is pretty deep into the prison but um maybe we'll grab a uh, something over here potentially buy this land um which is hard to buy anything right now when you don't have money um <laughs> let's take some money out and not that we're buying it right now but um we also um have built this wing, though it's in its uh, it's in its infancy. Uh, it's not ready for anything at the moment. Hopefully, by the end of the next episode, you'll see this decked out, and we can get prison labor unlocked. Um, what can we do for money in our next episode? Um, we are maxed out on the bank loan. This just isn't happening. We can get rid of that, and maybe. Uh, do something uh, something else right now. I'm not sure what. Um, this is definitely something that's possible. I mean, there's some big paying items here. There's a bunch of things that are un, uh, that are hidden. Um, so yeah. So it's been a little bit of a uh, interesting episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure you like and subscribe. We're almost to 100 subscribers, at least at the time of recording this episode. And once we hit 100 subscribers, um, it's a big deal for me. It's probably not a big deal for a whole lot of other people. Uh, I'm going to have a special episode about how I got into simulation gaming. Um, and believe it or not, I'll give you a little caveat. It was through Microsoft Paint on Windows XP. So that makes you think about how, how did that happen. How do you use simulation gaming in Microsoft Paint? So, um, anyway, and I'll, I'll show you some of my builds and things in that for that episode. You guys take care. I'm SwiftOS7. This is SwiftOS7 Gaming. Until next time, goodbye.